You are serious about, uh, first of all, apparently this can alter our behavior. It can reduce our heart rate. We might live longer. You believe all those and things. And heck, they're cute, Phil. You know, that's the bottom line. You know, studies at every major university, Texas A&M, Cornell, Purdue, indicate that if you have a pet, you're going to be happier and healthier. In fact, I was involved with a study in St. Louis recently where over 2,000 senior citizens were given pets through humane societies. Right. 70% of those senior citizens not only said that they feel good because they have a dog or a cat, but they feel healthier now that there's a pet in their home. It's totally non-demanding, and I think that's what makes the difference. One other thing that makes it not demanding is that so many of our senior citizens, the only uh, contact with something is with an animal. Now, that's kind of devastating, but we don't look at... Uh, aging or the older people community, we don't involve them in life any longer. And it is devastating to someone that's in a nursing home not to have somebody visit them. And they've just recently contacted me to do what's puppy profiles to find the right animals for the right nursing home. Well, I am told that we have 97 million domestic pets yeah. in the Over United States. 60% of North America yeah. now has pets. Yeah. We have only 230 million human animals to catch up with the dogs and cats then, don't we? Mm -hmm. So this is every other household. Yes, some oh. have two and three. Realize that dogs and cats <clears throat> have been domesticated since Peking man, and they're no longer just pets. Let's get out of this pet syndrome. They're part of our family. And that's what I do. It's more social work for pets than it is anything else. I work within the environment. If you have a screwed up family, you can have a screwed up pet. That's the bottom that's line. That's right. That is and the truth. And a pet can't save a screwed up family? They no, can. They really can. Autistic children, Down syndrome children, which is something I'm very much involved with. If you bring a dog or a cat as a stabilizing factor into a neurotic family, which is the typical American family, what they do is it gives a catalyst for the family to get together. So it does help the, the crazies, the crazies as well. So. And what's interesting, Phil, I'm sorry, look at the is, um, I can't get over this animal. What a face. Muggsy the dog. Look at that mug. You know, that's amazing. You know,